What it do, what it do, it's your boy B Myers, and today, but right, well, that's a good intro. Did you like that intro? Yeah, right? it, was, it was massively incredible. It was absolutely delicious. I sound like the cereal boxes. <laughs> so today we're gonna be going through a leg workout on nothing but a bench with a little bit of bird poop. Make sure that the bench has bird poop on it because if you don't have it, then you won't get the most gains in your quads. So get and find a bench. Doesn't matter how high it is. Well, generally it does. Try and just get a normal bench. And then what we're gonna be doing is going through specific movements within my philosophy and the way I structure things so that you can get the best results possible in the quickest amount of time. Did you like that little uh, honeycomb? <laughs> I'm like a cereal box today. So. The first movement that we're really gonna be focusing on, and I'm gonna go through some of the movements that we're gonna be doing, and then you, know, you can incorporate it at the end. I'll give you the structure of it, and I'll show you the exercises. So the first exercise that we wanna be focusing on, I wanna make sure you're doing every single one of them correctly, is going to be a pistol squat, but pausing. So if we can come over here really quick, and you'll see exactly how I'm doing this. So as I'm coming down, you'll notice one thing. When I come down, I am bringing my foot here on the ground just to tap to make sure I'm stabilized in that position in a good position. One thing you do not want is your foot to come in. So keep that coming out and all we're gonna do is explode up as fast as possible. Okay, so we're gonna come down, straight body and exploding back up. Making sure that you're really squeezing in your core the whole time. Remember, keep that contraction. It will make you work your quad and your glute the most amount okay now from here we're also going to be doing different movements where we're actually going to broad jump from a position of being here okay and one thing that you want to make sure you're not doing is having your feet too far out the further your feet are out the worse your knees are going to cave in the more you're going to be on your midfoot or uh immediately on your foot, which will then affect the power that you're able to generate throughout the whole movement. So this is gonna help with your vertical jump as well. So bring them closer together, just within shoulder width apart. You're gonna go from your heels and out, and you're gonna jump out as far as possible and then rest and come back, okay? So that's exercise number two. The third exercise that we're gonna be going through, and we're gonna hop on the ground for this one. I'm gonna make sure that this isn't making a bunch of noise. Sorry if it does. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, so we're gonna go on the ground. We're gonna get on this bench. Now, this is one of my favorite exercises that I've been doing recently, and it's all about making sure that you're stabilizing and not using your bunch of your neck, and also making sure that you're staying completely flexed or extended in those hips, okay? So what we're gonna do is have one leg here, okay? This is gonna be completely extended as high as you can, then you're going to bring out your foot as far as possible, and then you're going to come up here and squeeze. Always keeping everything extended the whole time, okay? This is extremely, extremely challenging, you'll notice, and it's gonna be working your hamstrings and also your glutes at the same time because of that stabilization, all right? Now, since we're still on the ground, we're gonna be going through another movement that is very, very important to incorporate in your body weight workouts. It's going to be here, being in our regular position here, okay? And this is gonna be like, the, like we were using that bench, but this time we're on the ground, we're flexing up, okay? We're stabilizing in our core, flexing, and making sure that our belly button is pushed into our back, so just like we do on our ab workouts. And we're gonna bring one leg up, extend, and we're gonna keep on switching it here, okay? And we'll most likely finish off with explosive hip thrusters in this position. Making sure everything's on the ground. Do not have your chin up at all. That's gonna really affect you in a negative way. Okay, hopefully this isn't making a bunch of noise. <laughs> we don't like noise. Next movement. It's going to be a pistol squat without having to be on the bench. So that other one was more of a stabilization and time under tension exercise, which is still an incredible movement that you should be incorporating. This next one is going to be a little bit more advanced, I would say. Okay, so find a bench, whatever. Um, make sure that this foot is about two inches outside of this bench so that you can grab on and you're going throughout the whole movement without any problems. Okay, so what we really wanna focus on is trying to stay on the inside of this the whole time while trying to keep our chest up. I did a very horrible job on that, by the way. I need to make sure I'm bringing my chest up as much as possible here and coming 
up. Now, what we don't want to do, and I, you just saw it again, was my knee came in like this. We don't want that. What we want is it to stay out the whole time, make sure it's externally rotated at our hips so we can concentrate on that glute and on that quad as much as possible. So watch one more time. I'm rubbing against, rubbing, 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 chest up, and then I'm up. Now notice how I went down and I used it like this. I put my forearm here. This is just to make sure I'm in a good position and then I don't have to push as much from the bench. Obviously, if you're more advanced, then go ahead and don't use the bench as much at all. But I do want you to still use the bench in a way where you're pushing against or right outside of this bench right here, just a couple inches, like one or two inches, so that you're not focusing so much on internal rotation of that hip, which will definitely hurt you. So these are some of the exercises that we're gonna be going through. Um, I just wanted to demonstrate a few so you knew exactly what to do and so that you didn't go out of whack when going through your technique. Now we're gonna get into the real junk of it, the junk. This is good stuff, it's not junk. I really want you to watch exactly what I do and how I do it throughout all of these supersets so you can incorporate it into your full workout and get the best results possible. That, that's what we really want, right? So um, we're about to get started. Make sure you take some notes from small cues that I'm doing and let's just get started and get right into it. <laughs> So there you have it. That is the workout for the day. Make sure you follow it exactly how it is written. Do not skip. That's the biggest problem people make. They try and skip things. They try and do more reps, less reps. Do it as is and see how you feel. Just change the variation if you're ever trying to make it harder or easier. Um, after you're done, do one of my ab workouts. Make sure you get your abdominals firing and your lower back. Remember, your core is not only your abs, it's also your posterior side as well. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Comment down below with your opinion on how you felt after your workout. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time.